Hello there, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Uh, in today's session, we are going to continue our discussion on VPC. As we all know, VPC is virtual private cloud in AWS, which enables us to establish and create a logical data center inside VPC, inside the cloud. And it allows us to use a specified a range of IP addresses, which we can use to launch our resources within it. So basically this is in terms of you know, securing more resources and we can customize our resources inside a cloud. You can see here I have logged into AWS Management Console. Here we need to type in the search bar as VPC and which will bring us to this page which is VPC Management Console. Here you can see there is already one VPC is there. This is named as a default VPC and ensure you are not going to delete this default vpc okay so let's create a custom vpc for that click on create vpc button here now this will give us couple of options here so you can see the resources to create uh, it's vpc only and another option is vpc along with subnet so in the demonstration purpose i will click just on for the PPC only. Uh, for the name, you can give any name of your choice. Let me give as VPC01. IPv4 CIDR block. I will stick with the default setting which is IPv4 CIDR manual input. That is, we need to manually input the IPv4 range. Then, for the same IPv4 CIDR, let me give an IP range as 20.0.0. .0. 0 slash 16 and I will explain why I selected slash 16 here. Again for IPv6 cider block we are no more required the IPv6 array so you can see here it's no IPv6 cider block is selected. Then I'll say default uh, under the tags it's uh, we can give up to 50 tags which will specify our give more description to our VPC. One of the tag is name as VPC01. I will add another tag by clicking on add new tag. So this will immediately create a VPC for us, okay. And regarding the IP range that I had specified, it's 10.20.0.0.0/16. So here's a website I would like you to recommend or refer. It is cider.xyz. Basically, this is the website which will give us the details of an IP range, particularly such as say Netmask. What will be the Netmask then? Usable first usable IP, last usable IP, and total or overall count of that IP addresses. In our case, it was 20, 0, 0, 0, it is slash 16. And he, you can see the magic here. It has given the net mask as 255.255.0.0. This is the net mask. The first usable IP of this range would be 20.0.0.1 and the last would be 255.254 with overall count as 65,536. So using slash 16 suffix is the largest provider of the IP range. Um, basically when we are specifying the suffix what we are doing is basically we need to subtract this count from 32. So it will be like 32 minus 16 will be 16 and it will be 2 raised to 16. So 2 is power of 16 is this count. Okay. Say if we instead select as say 20 
you can see the count has reduced to 4000 okay, 4096 and subsequently if we go for 24 it will be just 256 so we can use whatever the IP range as per our convenience and we can customize this for our VPC so coming back to our VPC page you can see here our VPC is ready and it has created a DHCP option set a main route table and a main network ACL here yeah. so the first thing will be for any VPC is to create an internet gateway because every VPC has only one internet gateway so that if we want our resources to be accessed over the internet we need an internet gateway if we click on internet gateway you can see there's already one internet gateway which is attached to default VPC that is one that was already present okay. so we need to create a new mm -hmm. for our custom VPC for that create click on create internet gateway and give us my LCW and simply click on create internet gateway it will immediately get created and you can notice the state is detached because it's not yet detached attached to our VPC and there's a button here to attach to our VPC click on that click on VPC and you can see there is nowhere default VPC is there and this is VPC01 is the custom VPC that the one we have just created so I'll select this one and click on attach internet gate so now our VPC has a path to the internet and the resources whenever will be created inside this VPC will be able to access internet okay. The next thing will be like click on route tables and again you can see here there are two route tables. This route table the one below is for our default VPC and another route table is this one is for our custom VPC let me click on our this route table here we need to add a route of the internet so for that click on edit routes add route and give the 0.0.0.0 which means open to internet and inside target I will type or search for internet gateway because I want my internet gateway to be routed through this click on internet gateway and it will show us my IGW which is the customized internet gateway that we have just created and click select this one and click on save changes this is very crucial step unless this step is there our resources won't be able to access internet okay so please take a note of this so friends uh, that's it for today in the upcoming session i will show you how we can create a subnet and after that we will create some resources inside that subnet and try to see if those resources has a path to the internet uh, i hope you got the point and you enjoyed the session okay Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my official YouTube channel and stay tuned. Happy learning. Keep enjoying. Thank you.